this just in, it's very sandy and dry out here. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. It's very dry out here. Don't let the green fool you. Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome back to the nightmarishly beautiful world of SMT5 featuring your favorite vitamin DGR, a.k.a. V. You already know how this goes at this point. But in case there's any of you new guys out there, hi, how are you? You want to stay for a little while? By all means, come on, come on. Make sure you leave your shoes by the door, darling. We're going to have a good time. You got your snacks? You got your drinks? All right, good, good. If you need anything, I'll be downstairs with the others, all right? But nonetheless, thank you all for tuning in. I hope everyone's ready for having some more chaotic fun here in this beautifully nightmarish world. Hey, Twitch, I told you I'd be back, so I'm back. For those who want to recap of the last adventure, uh, man, where do I start with that one? Uh, well, I got new demons. Uh, I got Daisojo, lost a lot, I farmed a lot, and we need to go further because we need to go to the fairy village because... Pretty boy Fion McCool was like, Hey, so, uh, the human students, they're over by the, uh... Hello, Winter. Welcome, welcome. Who's jumped on, uh, just jumped on chat, excuse me. Uh, then Flynn McCool was like, Hey, so, like, those students that you're looking for, they're over at this fairy village, so we gotta go. Winter says, I never left. Well, no, because, like, I do my videos episodically, so I always thought it weird. I am planning on doing, like, a Twitch-exclusive thing soon. Uh, but I also do these videos on YouTube because, I'm, you know, I want to grow on both platforms, obviously. So, forgive me, Twitch. I do break up my videos uh, because I like to make certain they're not super long for YouTube. Because, unfortunately, I don't have the... <laughs> Hello, Star. Who just came out of nowhere shouting out thick. But nonetheless, I hope everyone's doing well this day slash night. Uh... You're probably wondering what I'm doing here. Uh, I remembered some demon conversations, so I'm going to get a mermaid real quick. But, of course, before we get started, Algami, and I was told that headphone users might be warning, because I guess your voice is too nice for headphone users. But I think you need to do the whole intro thing before we go further, if you don't mind. I do not mind at all, young man. For those that wish to follow more of our exploits, to hear more of young Vitamin's voice in various other materials, or wish to support him in other endeavors, please follow him on his Twitch under the handle of Vitamin DGR. You can also find him on YouTube with the same name and handle, where you're knowing the right place when you see the love of dog. Will that suffice, young man? Beautifully so. Couldn't have said it better myself. All right, let's just get right to it. I gotta get a mermaid because I remember the demon conversation. I am gonna go back there. Hello? I don't think we've met. <clears throat> it's nice to meet you. My name is Akira. Uh, I also... Actually, who am I kidding? My name is not Akira. My name is V. Full name Vitamin, but uh, it is a pleasure to meet you. Beautiful, blonde, floating girl. I don't know if you come around these parts often, but... Uh, I'm going to give you a little simple math question. You plus me equals yes. So, what do you say? Get out of here, loser! Well, I know where my losses are. See you later. No, 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 I'm kidding. Actually, I don't know what this is. Well... well, I can't copy that voice. Who are you? Oh, wait. I should give my own name before asking for another's. True. I am Artemis. I am the... Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, boy. That's not the Artemis I'm aware of. Ooh. Uh, I am Artemis. I am the goddess of the moon and the hunt and daughter of the almighty Zeus. I came here because I heard that someone had slayed the Hydra. Uh-oh. Uh... Yes? I assume it must have been done by the demigod Hercules. No, not Zero to Hero, not the Disney guy. We don't do Disney stuff in this episode. But I don't know where he is. Might you have an idea of his whereabouts? No. What? You say that it was you? Some nimble-armed little fairy boy like you? Please. Oh, that's not what you mean? What? You were the one who slayed the Hydra? But you are so thin. <laughs> you are so thin. Your body isn't even close to that of Hercules. What do you mean? I gotta pack and wear it necessary. Look at my chest. Look at this beautiful flowing hair. Look at this... I don't know what's going on with my ears. Those are manly as anyone. 
But now that you mention it, you do have a presence similar to that of a demigod. I suppose looks can be deceiving. True. If it's true that you are the one to slay the Hydra, then you must be a skilled warrior. I'm looking to gain strength enough to unite this world and end its suffering. You're barking up the wrong tree, honey. Naturally, that calls for a strong partner to train. If you are a warrior, then you should also have the eyes to gauge the strength of your opponent. Yes. Therefore, I have a request for you, Hercules of Japan. Man, I give anything for some girl to come out of nowhere to me and be like, Hey V, Hercules of America. I'll be like, well, <laughs> uh, there goes my ego. I want you to find me a powerful foe that will serve me in my training. Fear not, I don't intend to leave you searching blindly under such vague guidelines. Thank you, I was wondering. Truth is, I've heard that a demon called Quetzalcoatl has appeared nearby. Locate Quetzalcoatl, then find out they truly are powerful. Having traveled these lands, there's no one better equipped to handle this task than you. I trust you won't disappoint me. Jeez. Uh, okay, well, I'll deal with you later. I gotta go get a mermaid. Once I, like, I don't know, figure out where Quetzalcoatl is, I'll keep it in mind. Oh, she might be that DLC. So, yeah, I think, I'm think i pretty sure I explained it before. I have the DLC, but I never really did the DLC. So, I did one uh, because I ended up going back that area, which was the... Oh, wait, this isn't over here. Uh, it was the, um, the Doctor one. That's the one I did. So, I legitimately have no clue about this chick. Um, oh, oh, I did the Doctor one, excuse me, and I did uh, Cleo. Which, I know, viewers, <sighs> I understand. You have to wait a little longer. Um, so look forward to that in the future. But I honestly didn't do this one. And I'm just going to be upfront with it and say, I kind of forgot. And it was an IRL friend that was like, oh, you did everything in this game? And I was like, yeah, totally. It's like, even like the DLC? I was like, yeah. It's like, so you fought like the final dude? I was like, uh... So that's debatable. You'll learn more about that in a future episode. And then, like, what about uh, Mephisto? I was like, yep, handled him. Cleo, yep, handled her. I was like, Artemis? I was like, who the heck is Artemis? Uh, so I will definitely be doing that for the first time. But first, I gotta get a mermaid. Don't run away from me. Hey, hot stuff. Uh, I need one of you girls to be with me. Not that way. I just need one of you for a demon conversation, because I did say I was going to go for it. Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, you. What's up? So what are you doing in a place like this? Uh, I guess I'll be honest. Looking for friends? Were you hoping to meet me? <laughs> I read ahead. I'm, I'm very tempted to not. <laughs> not really. Were you hoping to meet- Wait, what's the opposite? What would the opposite be in the circumstance? Like, not really as like, no, I really wasn't hoping it. But what would the opposite exactly be? Were you hoping to meet me? No, I was hoping to you to meet me? I'm gonna say not really. Well, I want to meet you. Oh. Well, make me feel like a jerk. I want to make sure a stuck-up fool like you learned his place at the bottom of the ocean. Oh. Oh, I guess I was a little too honest, huh? My bad. Ow. All right. Well, ow. Okay, girls. Like, let's let's talk about this. I don't want to have to kill you. Excuse me. Unalive. I probably have younger audiences watching this. Uh, here's what I'm gonna do first. First, because I really like this move, I'm gonna evaporate one of you guys. Then. Ooh, that was a little too close to the mic. My bad. Then I'm just going to pummel the other one. And then I'm going to talk to the middle girl. Because clearly, you suck. Bro, I didn't heal myself in that last fight. Oh, God, man. This is rough. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, hey, good looking. What's cooking? Nobody says that line anymore. This isn't 2002. It came from 2002? As far as you're concerned. The demon is singing. What will you do? Listen, block your ears, sing back loudly. I'll sing back loudly. You have a beautiful singing voice. Wait, hold on. I know where this goes. Because last time she was like, I want to meet you. And then, like, she was like, I want to kill you. You have a beautiful singing voice. Would I be able to hear you sing more if I join you? 
Oh, okay, yeah. If you give me a lifestone. Hello, risotto and pizza. Welcome, welcome. Okay, I don't know justice. You know what? Fair. Because with less there, you're closer to their heart. Welcome, welcome, my first time chatter. Hope you have fun in this random world I'm in. Won't you give me one lifestone? Sure, all yours. Won't you give me 434 bucks? I guess. I like your MP enough to drown in? All right, honey, you got enough. Glad to meet you. And I'm still allowed to stream this game because, you know, we're all mature connoisseurs of the culture here. I'm certain we all are allowed to watch scantily clad males and females in anime form. Otherwise, take your complaints with someone else because we all love here. There, we don't we don't shame in these parts. Why am I running? See, now I'm curious because I didn't do this DLC. Where is Quetzalcoatl? Do you know where Quetzalcoatl is? Locate Quetzalcoatl, then find out they are truly powerful. Well, I don't know where Quetzalcoatl is. Would it be on the map? That's the wrong button. What's the map button? Uh, plus. Uh, that's not you. Wouldn't Artemis look like a girl? Uh, when Atlas was like, oh, hello, Axis. Oh my god, I got everybody tonight. Holy moly. And Axis has just jumped on chat with a hee ho. Okay, we're not starting this whole chat hee ho thing. Come on now. Risotto says, wouldn't Artemis look like a girl? Uh, when Atlas was like, we know most of our fan base really wants, uh, they're, they're cultured folks. Uh, let's see. That's Cleo. And despite my desire to see her again, that can wait. Is she here? Or, no? Ho oh, he then? Oh, don't be funny. That's the doctor. I know where that is. Oh! Oh! It's over there! Wait, where is that? You heed your last hood. Oh, somebody saw that meme from, uh... Well, maybe not, Risotto, but... Is, are you talking about the... The Sojuro meme? About... I don't, I don't want to say anything, but for those that don't know, it's a Sojuro meme involving Valentine's Day. I won't say any more, but, uh... If you do a certain... Shouldn't say that like, say it like that. If you go for a certain person, a certain person will be like, Huh? Not her. Not my daughter. I won't say further in case of spoilers, but uh, if you know, you know. I want to see this uh, thing, because now I'm curious. Can I do this DLC? Wait. Ame? Where the heck were you? Hey, hey, hey. Hey, so like, I was just busy doing my own thing. You can take me with you? Yeah. Yeah, where the heck were you? I could have helped you out. Why would we stop with his daughter? Well, to be fair, as a we choosing everybody, Risotto, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You can call me whatever you want, but when it comes to Persona or any dating sim game, I usually try to go for whatever, every path I can. Because I take it like this. Usually there is best girl, yeah. But, like, are you going to make everyone else upset? Surely enough love for everybody. <laughs> but this is high emergency food. All right. Uh, can I fight this Quetzalcoatl? I should probably heal, huh? I'm realizing this is the Shin Megami game. For the most content. Exactly. Now, of course, depending on what game you play, that's either a good or a bad thing going for everybody. But... Axis says, hard mode is ruining all relationships and nuking Mega Ten. No. It is not. It's not at all. I will say this, though. Uh... I'm realizing this is a Shin Megami game. Shin Megami doesn't really, uh, with the exception of Apocalypse, Shin Megami doesn't really do the whole romance thing. Except for, you know, you have your demons, I guess. Uh, hey, Quetzalcoatl. Windows says she's the Paimon slash Navi. Yeah, I know. Star says to get all the waifus. Oh, yeah, I'm going for everybody. I'm getting every waifu I can. I hope I can fight this dude. Otherwise, this is going to be an embarrassing beginning. Uh-oh, it's already embarrassing beginning. Oh, it's already embarrassing beginning. Ah! Oh! All right, well, there goes Daisoja. And Anahita. I don't think I'm meant to fight you right now. And Yakshni. Okay, well, there we go. I wasn't meant to fight you right now, was I? 
Oh, wait, what? I am higher leveled. I immediately got star from chat saying, no, run. Rip. Run or die. It, I can't... I don't run from fights. Besides, if I... If I'm gonna do this, I might as well die so that way I don't lose out. Oh, right, right, right. Risotto said, what do you play through? In case there's any new viewers that don't know, I'm doing a challenge this run. I'm pretty sure everyone else knows this, but in case there's any new viewers here. So we're doing a challenge where if any demon dies, I have to either buy them or make them again. So, uh... Freaking Quetzalcoatl, man. You know what? I'll go down swinging. Uh... How much damage is he? Probably nothing. Nope! I am not meant to fight you now. Oh, boy. Ow! <gasps> Ow. Well, maybe it's not a vitamin video without seeing this. And, of course, Algami, who is just like, I am very disappointed in you, young man. Don't look at me like that. It's okay. I'll get stronger. I'll handle it. All right, so thank you all for tuning in for this episode. God. The bottom of my pants just exploded? What? Axe is what? I have no clue what to respond, or how to respond to that. All right, well, that aside... Clearly, I'm not meant to fight you right now. You're following, you're following the report card. Yeah, the guy's just, just like, hmm. Because you know mom would say something. Dad is just a man of few words who would just be like, hmm. All right, so uh, I'll come back for you later. Viewers, remember, when I'm like much stronger and have better demons that aren't weak to fire and I guess wind, I'm coming back for that fool. Uh, alright, well, I guess I'll just get back on track to my story here. Actually, wait. I am curious on something else, since I did save. Axis said, and I am reading Axis saying this, YouTube, so this is not me making this up. Unless you want to clip this, by all means. <laughs> he said, the button for my... Actually, that should be dramatic. <clears throat> the button for my pants just popped off. Light dude. My hips don't lie, I guess. But I'm not a large guy. Nice bars. Shakira, Shakira. All right. You're my plus ultra. Hey, hey, hey. Uh -huh. Oh god, I forgot. Actually, you know what? I don't really miss Amin Ozaka. Hearing the hey, hey, hey is gonna be annoying. All right. Before I actually move on with the game and you know get to the meat of this episode, I want to see if I can fight the next fiend as well. Hopefully, I can. Oh god, this is gonna be annoying hearing you. I think his bomb really did go plus ultra. I guess you're gonna need more of your might. You're actually looking smug for a demon that got one shot by a snake wing. What do you mean? How do you not she she's com oh she rendered a little late. But she's confident. I mean Nah, eh, I got nothing. Alright. Let's see if I'm strong enough to handle this. Get out of the way! Where's this thing? Wait, huh? Where'd you go? Oh. Hey, uh -huh. Oh, right, right, right. I did promise. That was the sole reason why I have this mermaid. Uh, where are you? Come here. I did promise this. First, let me handle that Mothman real quick, because you're a pain in the butt. So I'm just going to cut you up a little bit. Bear with me, y'all. I did promise you guys a demon conversation, and I am going to do it. Uh, let's see. Risotto says, Hey, Vitamin, do you remember a demon ST4? That design was based on a toilet. Hmm. I know you could say it's a little sticky. <laughs> First off, funny. If you're not talking about Belphegor, are you talking about... Because you said her design. Is there another demon's design that was based on a toilet? Because the only one I could think of specifically was Belphegor. Unless you think about someone else. Also, nice joke, by the way. That's gross. <laughs> Alright, hey, Kelps. He has asked I got or something. I have to think about it. There's so many demons in Mega Ten to try to remember. It may not be Belphegor. I might be wrong. Here's your demon conversation. I promised I was going to do it. 
I am going to try and do, if not all of them, as many as I freaking can. At least the ones I know. I don't want to look up or use a guide or anything. I know you. You're a Kelpie, yes? <laughs> no, okay, I'm not, I'm not talking like that. And I know you! I'm so to get a Scooby-Doo voice. Well, actually, Kelpie's female in some lore, so... Aren't you a mermaid? I heard that you lure people in and drown them. Is that true? Hmm? Oh, yeah. Wow, you just straight up admitted it, huh? Don't you sink ships into the ocean, too? We're like the Sinker Sisters. Tiaza Tuttle? Maybe. Uh, um. Oh, Tiaza Tuttle! Oh, dude! I. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry, YouTube. You, you gotta wait for a second. I totally remember this demon now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man, I, I gotta. Uh, Tiaza Tuttle. I completely forgot about that demon. So there's a demon in SMT, or, well, I shouldn't just say, uh, SMT, uh, but in Mega 10, called Tiaza Total. Uh, I don't really know how to properly spell it, so I'm just gonna assume chat is spelling this right, where I spell it as, uh, T-I-A-Z-O-L-T-E-O-T-L. -E Hopefully that, uh, is appropriate, because, yeah, I gotta look up that demon. Oh, I gotta look up that demon later. Access says, I got you, I'm straight out of Google. Right, I gotta look that up a little bit. So what's it like to make people drown? That is the most wild question and wild statement I think I've said this entire series so far. What's it like to make people drown? Oh, normal, I guess. Sometimes it's like, ha ha, screw you. Or sometimes it's like, what an idiot. I can't believe you fell for that. Rizzotto says, Lord, why she says, yes, yes. You're so right. I can't, I feel so ashamed I forgot. Then again, I... I should know this. It's not like Pokemon. It should be easy to remember. I bet you can't handle the Taco Bell nights, <laughs> Rosetto. I see. What about you? Uh, what about you? Um. I'm sorry. I really like Mermaid's design. Get your minds out of the gutters. I really think Mermaid's pretty. What? You don't like enjoying sinking ships? I... Uh, Axis says she's the reason they got rid of the Mexican pizza and Dorito taco. And Risotto said this is the most awkward conversation. You know what? I'm going to go to somebody and be like, hey, so what's it like to drown people? If I don't get arrested or hit on the spot, I'll let you know in the next video. No, I'm just kidding. I, I just want to sing. Sing songs about the water, the winds, and the waves. But last time I did, I ended up causing a problem back in DreamWorks Sinbad, Legend of the Seven Seas. If anybody remembers that old movie. I remember that movie. But sailors always end up being lured in by those songs and get sent to the bottom of the sea. It's for that reason they... they say I'm a bad omen. Aww. Oh, so that's why you're depressing. You're a loser. I'm out of here. That's a very good response to my dumb joke. Come on, you shouldn't be so hard on yourself. Oh. Come on, shouldn't, you shouldn't be so hard on yourself. They're the dumb ones for letting themselves get sung. But if you really don't want to hurt people like that, maybe give them some sort of talisman to protect them. Here, why don't you try using this? It's like a crudely drawn paper that says, be warned, or watch out. You, you spelled the E backwards. I know! It's kind of hard to write with hooves. Or a pulse well? Okay, thanks. Here's hoping we can get on some action together someday. Go Seeker <laughs> Sisters. Um, I don't really... The, the name's kind of lame. I think it's cute! Alright, well that really has been the most wildest conversation. Um, speaking of, because remembering about uh, uh, Tiazla Total, I know I'm not saying that name right. I know there's another one with Mermaid, but uh, look forward to that one, because I actually just mentioned who I need. I need uh, Belfie. But first, hey, uh, I'll deal with you later. Alright. I should probably save. The eh, well, nah, I'm fine. I do want to see if I'm strong enough to handle this next fiend. No. Not now, Navi. I mean, Ame. Am I strong enough to handle this? Hmm. Rizzotto said, oh look, the physical resist elephant from SOT3. Yeah, the most pain in the ass demon. I hate Girmakala 
so freaking much because sometimes I'm used to grinding and it's just like I mash attack and I end up being like, wait, why did I take damage? Oh. Uh, we're going to find out if this is going to be a uh, two for two with fails or a one for one. If not, I'll come back and get stronger. But let's see here. Also, did I just get a follower? I think my, uh, my count just went higher. Hey, it's Hellbiker. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, brother! I just came back from hell! With these arsenal of Slim Jims! You feel me? Uh, I don't really feel you. At all. We're not making those jokes this episode! Axis says I missed a crash stream. Yeah, I did a second visit. A second one visit. One visit? Earlier today. Um, it will be on YouTube uh, in the next couple of weeks. Uh, it was also just to prepare for my uh, a 200 special. Is that Nicolas Cage? No, this is not Nicolas Cage. This is the better... Uh, I was about to say Hell Rider. <laughs> this is the better Ghost Rider. Hell Biker! God! He, Chad, you guys are killing me here. All right, well, let's see if you're going to destroy me or not. You're probably going to destroy me because every fiend gets free hits because it's stupid. Ow! Alright, let's do this. I'm not a little quitter. Uh, Axis says he needs to join the crew five minutes ago. <laughs> it's good to join. Oh, we are... Eh. Kind of the level. I think it'd be better if I was stronger, but... Let's see how this goes. If I die, then it's fine. Oh, yeah! We're gonna need ice for this! Oh, no! You have hell spin. Hell Exhaust! Hell Burner! I think some of us are weak to fire. Dekunda and Tentrafo. Okay, if I'm gonna beat it, I need ice. Gotcha, okay. We can do this. Then again, you have fire, which is a little worrying. That is not enough damage. Oh boy. Oh no! Uh, let's see. No point in do that. Get some health back, I guess. Problem is, I don't know what movie's going to do. If he uses wind, that's good. It's actually a good idea having Yakshne. Uh, let's see. Uh, Venom Chaser, you're not poisoned. 2 3, lame. Lower attack, lower defense. Um, I'd rather lower defense. Or miss completely. Thanks, Yakshne. You know what? Ow! Hang in there. Don't die, Dasojo. I can't afford you. Ow! Don't die me! I can't afford me! Okay, that sucks. I should just go ham, huh? Hmm. You know what? I'm going ham. I'm not. But we'll see how this goes. Can, can I use lightning? Lightning is a stronger move. I wish I had ice. Oh well. Let's see how much damage I can get away with. Please don't miss. Axis said, don't you dare let Baja Blast die. Hey, if it happens, it happens. It's against my control. <laughs> Believe me, I'm not trying to have this happen either. Um, thank you for not missing. Okay, now I need to work on healing. Um, I do more damage, but I also have Miracle Water. If I and Daisojo heal, Anahita and Yakshni can keep attacking. So, Axis said, no, don't let her die. Put her back in the fridge. Nah, man. She's the best person for this. She has ice. I can't afford to put her back. As long as she doesn't use the fire move. Don't miss. Thank you. Alright, do your worst. Bring it. Just don't use fire. Ah! I, go, I, can, I can eat those. By all means, do it. Eh, funny. Um, would that be strong enough? Let's find out. Kiss the fist! 
Oh, actually, that's pretty strong. What I should have, I should have that start to get more health. And I should also have you actually start uh, doing the lower um, attack thing. That'd be very handy. Alright, start using Fangbreaker. Why is that the sound effect? Um, would I do more damage or Anahina do more damage? Well, I'll do a Sakunagi anyway. If he uses Hell Exhaust, we're good. I'm more worried about that Hell Spin move. Ow. Counter. No. Uh oh. I think I might do that fire thingy. I think it will, right? Sorry, I just want to see what other moves it's have. It's probably going to do this, right? I would. Heavy fire attack to all foes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can do this, we can do this. Um, let me do this. Ooh! I got a crit on that one. Man, a crit on that hurts. Holy moly. We don't miss around here. Wow. What did I just say? Okay. Um, I'm scared. I want to lower your defense further, but please don't miss. Okay, phew. I can stop it. I got so scared. <laughs> no, Axel said Nicholas Cage used fire spin. Uh, I'm gonna hope you're doing the fire move, otherwise Dicelotro's dead. Use the fire move, please. Let me read you like a book. Yes! Still a little scared, though. Ugh, no crits again? That's fine. If we keep this out, we couldn't handle this. Again, assuming we don't miss. Um, I'm just going to media us, just in case. Top us off. Um, Fangbreaker. I will let on here. I want to see. I do about like 140. How much would you do? 114. Okay, my Sakahagi is stronger. Oh! Oh! Ugh. I wasn't expecting it to... Why did I do that? Yeah, it has... Not... Okay, here's my, my viewpoint. I read his stats, or his skills... I thought he had Takaja, which was get rid of the boost thing, or our buffs. I forgot he had Takunda. Damn it! Alright, well... Gotta do this again. I'm very surprised that, uh, that fire move didn't kill Daisojo. That was clutch. We're not referring to this as Nicolas Cage from here on out, though, chat. Stop. Risotto said, hey, v uh, do you have any tattoos? Uh, no, I'm actually bare right now. I'm considering getting one. Oh, what are you going to get a tattoo of? I'm curious. I, I... Actually, I should say it. Uh, while I wait for Risotto's answer, I actually have a true uh, story to tell you guys. Uh, there is a period of time on uh, Mythical Koi. Oh, it's going to be so cool. Plus, Koi fish are so pretty. Oh, man. That's going to be so cool to see. So I was trying to imagine like, a Koi on, on, as a tattoo. Um, true story, for you, uh, people. During my 17th birthday, um, I wanted to get a tattoo. Uh, I wanted to get a dragon because, you know, I'm a weeb like that. But I wanted to get, like, anime and heck. I literally went to a tattoo joint. Uh, this was over in East. This was back in Maryland. Um, and I went to a tattoo joint. Uh, I never heard this before. And viewers, if you ever heard of something like this, or better yet, if you're the guy that recognizes my voice that says this, please say something in chat. But... I literally went to this tattoo joint. I won't name drop, but it was next to like a McDonald's and some other like outlet mall or outlet plaza. Um, and I went there. I went to the guy and I was like, oh, hi, uh, how are you? And I was like, yeah, it's cool. Uh, what's up? I uh, I want to get this tattoo of a dragon and I want it on my arm. And I literally got told, hi, so 
can I just talk to your folks real quick? Are you of age? It's like, yeah, no, I'm of age. I'm 17. Uh, gonna be 18 soon. I said my 17th birthday, but 18th birthday, excuse me. I was in Maryland. Uh, and I was gonna be like an 18th birthday present. And I should have known because they took mama vitamin and papa vitamin aside, said something, and then they're like, hey, V, come here. We gotta talk to you real quick. I was like, what's up? It's like, hey, so he's gonna say something to you, so just be, be cool. Like, take it well, all right? And I was like, okay. So I went to him. It was like, what's wrong? It's like, Hey, so the tattoo you want, I'm going to be honest with you. I've been a tattoo artist for like seven or so months, like ever since I got my thing. And I don't feel comfortable designing a tattoo on you because you don't have enough mass on your body, on your arm. And I was like, what? Wait, I don't have enough mass on my arm. Granted, I'm a toothpick. Yeah, that's all fine and dandy. But I was like, I didn't know there was like a limit to like mass and everything like that. So I was like, wait, so basically I'm too skinny. I mean, the guy has a point. I mean, fair, yeah. But I was like, so I'm too skinny to, to to get a tattoo? And then over time I just like lost interest. I still have an interest, but it's it's probably gonna happen later. Uh, plus I need to think about what design I was gonna do. But that was the first time in all my life I was told I was too skinny for something, at least that I remember. And I don't, I don't know. I don't know how to take it. I felt... I don't know. Risotto says, the guy has a point. You can't really draw an opposing dragon on a small base. Star said, what I miss? Oh, me telling viewers the reason why I never got a tattoo. Uh, I mean, granted, I'm older now, but I'll admit, I'm still kind of a toothpick now. Star's too skinny. Yeah, so, Star, to catch you up, uh, I want a tattoo. Well, so, the thing is, I'm certain... At least now, I could have gotten on the back. But I really want it on my arm. I'll admit, I have a whole, like, anime phase where I wanted to be, like, the whole, like, you have to be careful. I have a dragon on my arm. Risotto says that's where I plan on getting it. I think it'd be cool. I think it'd be cool to have a cool koi thing on um on your back. I just found it funny because I really wanted uh, a dragon on my arm because I thought it'd be cool. This is the point where I should have made the joke of, well, I could have, but there was already a girl that already had a dragon tattoo, so no thanks. Um, but no, that joke aside, I'm being dead serious about the whole, like, I've never been told that before. If any viewers know what I'm talking about, have you ever been to any, like, for those that have tattoos, if you've ever been told, yeah, you can't do this because there's not enough, like, mass or weight on you or anything like that. I've never been told that, so, uh... Star says, I wish I was thin. Ah, that's fine. Uh, Axis says, I have shine on my arm. Jealous. Risotto says, I'm considering a dragon design, but it doesn't fit my personality. Well, koi fish are still cool, though. Koi fish are pretty. If anything, I think it's like the one pond that everybody wants. Uh, I think you should go for it. I think it'd be really dope. Don't, don't second guess. Go for it. These are the experiences, and these are the times you should be going, you should be going like, screw it. Go for it. Like, I should be just going for this. Uh, Risotto says, it is. In mythology, the koi fish swam in the river stream and became a dragon. So it's the same. Like I said, I think it'd be the coolest. And I'm not going to lie. Even though I didn't know that, actually, Risotto. That's really cool. But the other thing I like about koi was because it reminds me of uh, the first season of Avatar. Which I trust people have seen Avatar. Actually, maybe I shouldn't. Because there might be some people that haven't. But please, trust me. Watch Avatar. If you know what I'm talking about with the koi fish, you're welcome. Uh, Axis says, I want to send my closest friends all get a tattoo of one of the Dragon Balls. So when we reunite in life, we can make a wish. Aww. I choose the seven star. Actually, no. I want to be the six star. And no, I'm not saying stars and star you. I mean stars and dr Dragon Ball. Uh, I should be healing, huh? I shouldn't have done that with Sakahagi. No. Oh. Uh, hopefully your media heals a lot. Eh, that's good enough. Let's see, what are you going to do? I'd rather lower your attack more than anything. Alright, he's in the red. Don't do some nonsense now. Ow! Give me a counter. Thank you. Crap, now I'm scared. I don't know if he's going to do the fire move, because he kind of did that randomly as heck, huh? Yeah, I'm going to go for it anyway. Ugh, no crit. Darn it. Man, I'm in low defense. 
defense is not kosher. I'm gonna use the item just in case you miss. I'm gonna really hope you're gonna do the fire thing again. If it's the wind thing, I'm not scared. Uh, if there are... Viewers, if there's other tattoos, if you're interested in getting a tattoo, let me know in the comment section what tattoo you want to go for. Because uh, I'll also say, nowadays, there are three tattoos I'm thinking about. I lost the idea of a dragon, but uh, I want to get a tattoo of either... Um, I want to get a tattoo of either Luffy from One Piece. I want to get a tattoo of either uh, Shinobu... Oh, no, excuse me. Kiss Shot. Uh, oh, man. Kiss Shot, Arosia, Arasia, Orion, Heart Under Blade. I'm pretty sure I messed up word there. But the blonde, hot vampire from Monogatari, my favorite anime. Um, and if not that, then I want to get a picture of uh, the dirt face from Nisekoi. Uh, Nisekoi. Uh, Nichijo, because I like that anime. Sorry, just to rant and nerd out for a minute. Uh, Axis says, I need to get a purple star on my neck. Oh, because my first and last name both start with Joe. We're not doing this again. Don't, don't start the JoJo thing. Risotto said, do you know someone that has a tattoo of their waifu? Soon to be me. No, I hope so. I know how to feel about that one, though. I think it depends on the waifu. I really think it does. Obviously, I mean, to each his own, right? You can do whatever you want, but... And I, I, we don't shame around these parts. We'll accept it, but I know there's certain people you shouldn't do. So, hmm. I just says, I know someone that has a tutu of Urza from Fairy Tale. Um, at the top of my head, I don't know of anyone that has an anime waifu. I know of a waifu, quote-unquote, um, that has a Lara Croft tattoo. Uh, but I don't really know of anyone with an anime, uh, tattoo. Axis says, I know someone has a Zone Town tattoo. Dude! That's so lucky. Also, what the heck do you know about Zone Town? My viewers know Zone Town? That's crazy. Way to go, Axis. See you in a different light. I like the, uh, ZTV news. Axis says, Lamau, uh, Childhood Ruin. Nah, man. I watch the YouTube, the ZTV News things. I never watch Zone stuff, because it's not really my thing. Uh, but I like the YouTube stuff on Zonetan. I discovered it because of Game Grubs. Uh, Risotto says, imagine you're on an open bath and someone pulls out his clothes. The first thing you saw was Zero Two dancing porch on the back. I would legit high-five him. I would be like, you know what, brother? No, uh, you know what I would do? Even though I'm not really super into Zero Two as much as I used to be. But I would totally do the the meme of uh what's the movie Predator, where it's like Dylan, let the guy, let the guy to push into many pencils again Dylan. Oh no no wait what did he say? He said Dylan, you son of a bitch. And then I do like the pump giant arms collapsing thing. That's what I would totally do. You know if I was braver and you know more social and everything. Ah, oh, it's good to have fantasies. Uh. What are you gonna do? You're probably gonna media. Let's see. What would be the best thing to do here? Axis says, if I get a tattoo of any anime character, it would be Dio or Don Flamingo. I'm curious on why you chose Don Flamingo of all the One Piece villains. I like it. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying. I'm just saying it. Rosola said, but isn't tattoo still a taboo in society? Well, true, but at the same time. Nuts to society. I'm I'm playing random anime games, and I don't really give a crap what society says. I want to do this because I like having fun, and I want to find people out there that have the same interest in me. If society wants to be like, you know, shame on tattoos, blah, blah, blah. I'm not trying to offend society. To be fair, nowadays, almost everything's a taboo in society. You can't go outside without offending anybody. You can't even be like, hi, how's it going? And somebody's like, ugh, ugh. So you know what? I respect society for existing because, you know, it helps me not be bored, but if society's gonna knock on me for, like, liking anime or jamming to some sweet anime OSTs, because if people have not jammed to the ending theme to uh, Bunny Girl Senpai, then I'm full on proud to admit it. What am I doing here? So I'm not embarrassed. I'm staying by my, my statement here. I'm still gonna keep your thing lowered. 
just in case. Uh, Axel says, for real, used to run around naked as a kid and he used to say, oh, what a silly little guy. Now when I do it, I get arrested. <laughs> well, that's different. Okay, Axis, let, that's, <laughs> way to twist where I was going. I thought I was going to be, I was sounding profound here. You just threw it for a whole new loop. I need energy. How many chocolate drops do I have? Ooh, not that many. Uh, mmm. Wow. I really need energy, huh? Oh. Well, you need it more than me. So I can get this going. Or miss. That that works too, sure. Ah. Ah. Great. Not confused too. That's the worst. I need to shake out of it. No, that's the worst thing you should do. Oh man, you are not. We are not losing a demon. Not this time. Oh, fortunately, Yakshni's up. I need you. Oh man. All these freaking life stones—they don't do anything. I need more energy than anything, too. No, I'd rather not have Daisojo die. Or, okay, that works too. That's Ojo's dead. <sighs> I'm so sick of you. You know how expensive Daisojo is? It's like 20 freaking thousand. Alright, I need a demon that resists wind. Matador or Huapo? Does Huapo have media? Great. There's 24 freaking thousand I gotta spend. Uh, and all because you missed. What is this? Because of the two failures? Ugh, lame. Yakshni. Okay, I was about to say. Snap out of it. This is not the time. Hmm. All skills of all allies will cost. Do I really want to waste that? Not really. I'm just going to use item. I have these ice gems. And I can't revive Daisojo either because of the stupid challenge. Ugh. And I'm still... Do you mind me? Hang on. I gotta heal myself. It's all my energy. Look at that stupid... Oh, now I'm cured. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ow. Ow. Who'd you get a curl on? Me? I bet you did. Ow! Uh-uh, not like this. Oh, I'm just gonna do a standard attack. Uh, Risotto said this beam was much more annoying in 3. Yeah, a lot of them were. It's funny you bring that up. He feels watered down now. He's still annoying. And it's actually funny, I can now agree with it because it was a while ago, but I just played Nocturne for the first time. And that was an experience. I hated that experience. Something fierce. Die already! God, you have that little bit of health. Just go away. Or I kill my Daisojo. Oh my god, Yakshni. Are you serious? It's like, I just want to drag out the fight longer. I'm actually impressed by just how that happened. Ugh. You know what? Screw it. I want to kill him. I don't care. Please, Aramasa, do it because I don't trust my teammates are going to do it. So, come on, Aramasa. Help me out here. Yes. I'll get the Makatsuhi back later. I'm not... Not losing another demon. Screw this clown, man. Now I gotta buy a new Daisojo. That's gonna be expensive as hell. Why are you all happy? You were the one that dropped the ball the most. Quite the noxious glamour, isn't it? Why'd I give you that voice? 
I don't care. Get the crap out of here. Nicholas Cage is gone. Screw it. This was a tree from a sunken ship. It's a very pretty rock. Wow, it really is a rock. Goodbye, chump. Alright, now to hear the better version of Algami, because apparently you viewers don't like my, uh, uh, the Algami I hired, excuse me. Fiend Hellbiker. Status eliminated. Another powerful foe. Shame we couldn't learn much from him. He was carrying a menorah, however. How many of these fiends will we be forced to fight? Uh, let's see. One... Two, three, four, five. About five or six. Whoop de doo. I know, I know. It's part of the challenge. I really hope I recorded this Daisojo, though. Ugh. How much is it to buy him back? I hate this. I hate this. But at least I get to see Sophia again. Oh. So, you've encountered a fiend in possession of a menorah, have you not? You have lines this time. Oh, I will happily be quiet to listen to you. Please, entertain us. They have come here from worlds beyond, guided here by the menorahs. And though you still grieve, many more trials lie ahead. Death it seems, follows the same path as you. Nahobi, you have been ensnared by a most cruel fate. I suggest you proceed with the utmost caution. Aha. Uh -huh. Just hearing her say the words, utmost caution. Got my heart beating, man. Now, if there's one person I for sure would have a tattoo of, even though I know she's huge, like in reality, because we saw, I remember episode, I think episode one or two. Uh, why am I here? Oh, right, right. I had demon stock, or skill slots. Oh my glory. Uh, I would totally have Sophia. Then again, I don't know if I have enough mass, apparently, for Sophia. Oh, I'm one level short. What do I need? Wait, I'm one level short? No, I'm two levels short. I can't count. Wait, no, it says 36. Why is it 36? Oh, 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 I get it. I need to be level 36 to make Hellbiker, but if I make Hellbiker, he'll level up to 37. Got it. Makes more sense. Okay, if that's the case. Let me just see. How much is it to get back to Sojo? Where are you? Daisojo, Daisojo. I should go by uh, the level thing. Daisojo, where are you? Where's Daisojo? 24,000. Oh, God. Well. I do also need to do a fusion for the episode, because that's also my thing. Uh, let me see if I can. Welcome. Nice eyes. Uh, do I have stuff to sell? Oh, actually, I do. Actually, yeah. Holy, holy, yeah, I do. Where did I get all this? Hell yeah. Got a million of these stupid Zeldas. This episode says such a warming smile. Yeah. This is the face you see. Like, you know how they usually have horror movies where they only show the villain or the evil thing for two seconds before they do the in theater soon. That kind of thing. And this risotto said I'm sure he won't cheat you in negotiation. Yeah, with such an award-winning gentle smile like that? Of course not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perchance bring Maka. Ah, whatever. I'm going to uh, get my Daisojo back. Welcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, do I have the room for Daisojo? Yeah, I do. Alright, give me back my friggin... Alright, now I need how much when I eventually level up? I'm just going to wait until I level up and make Hellbiker. I need 7,000? Okay, got it. Axa says he reminds me of a regent from Persona, but I don't know why. Hmm. 
Well, maybe the fact that he's standing up bottom with all this treasure? Maybe. Uh, just like my chair here. I'll come back when I get the money. Uh, I should just level up a little bit. Do I have a, um... Whoa, whoops. Oh, well, should have done that. Do I have one of those, uh, the things that level me up? I do have one. Oh, that's good. I'm just gonna do this now. I'll use this, too. There's no point in hoarding this. I'm gonna go ham. Like a ghost form from the region? Well, no. Yeah. But, unfortunately, I think, uh... He may not be too keen to be called a regent or be compared to a regent. But he really is, like, the thing you see at the end of your bed before you die. And after this, we gotta go back. I just remembered why I was, like, so weakened at the beginning of this video. Because last episode, I didn't mean to, but I ended up fighting that freaking, uh, Kum Honda, I think his name is. What are you weak to? Oh, weak to wind. So I'm going to handle this Mothman real quick. Don't miss. And then I'll go get a, a new Hellbiker. Not me. Okay. Access says, nah, he's the guy that slips you party favors that wake you wake up with a tiger in your bathroom. He is the dude that basically is, like, the guy who causes hangover. Part one and part three, not part two, though. He had to take a break. He had to get the feds off him. Free level, uh, I use a lot of physical stuff. So I'm doing more of the physical stuff. Then again, I am using Ruinous Thunder lately. Eh, how well. I kind of forgot I had Mermaid here. Oh, you know what? I'm going to keep Mermaid. I want to make a crazy Mermaid later, once I get, like, a stupid amount of money and stuff. It'll probably be once I, like, get all the good stuff. Okay. Now... We're gonna get this early, we'll get the Fuge episode. Actually making good timing. First hour I died once. Bought a fiend. Actually not too bad considering. Look in this. <laughs> okay, I think Thanks. that should be enough, but just in case. Look. Okay, <laughs> now I know that's enough. Plus, what the heck am I gonna do with Kelpie? Alright, here comes the Fuge of the episode, folks, because I do promise at least one an episode. Welcome. Yeah, 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 welcome. Before that, uh, what miracle do I want to go for? Uh, Mogotoki Crickle and Finale Guard evades in all place. Okay. Uh, reduce the stuff by 25. I don't really buy much stuff there. Two skills for this. Is, eh. Increase my skill slots by one? I'll probably do that. Now I have 58. Anything less than 50 that I care about? Uh, or I should probably whore my glory. Then go ham once again a lot more. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll hoard my glory. So that way, uh, I'll go ham. Man, you feel like someone I just beat. Oh, yeah! Alright, let's see. What do I give you? Uh, Poisma? Sure, whatever. Diorama? Yeah, I don't really care about that nonsense. You know what? Actually, screw it. Why not? I may be rough, but I can also heal. Is this yes, it is. Alright, fusion of the episode. Please don't get me an accent as I munch on more of my uh, sweet tart ropes. Man, I've seen bigger. I'm soon. <clears throat> nice render. So it says nice tune like Mozart said. So. Oh yeah! Ready to stir shit up? You're the fool? You're looking at Hellbiker, the fiend. I was trying so hard to hold back this joke, Risotto. Actually, it's funny you brought it up. 
But when he did like the when he pressed it down and he looked straight up and he looked like he was getting to the groove, this is such a dated reference. I I'm gonna get like five percent of you that know what joke I'm gonna make here. Also, here you go, Axis. I told you I was gonna make Mick Cage, in a way. But if it, if it plays, it's a very bad Dreamers movie. Well, I don't think I don't like it that much. But if anyone's seen Monsters vs. Aliens, the scene with the president guy, voiced by Stephen Colbert, who he's playing the piano to like do the whole Close Encounters reference, and he like gets like so like into it. That's what I might not hope you know kind of look when I did it. Sorry. If anybody knows what I'm getting at. <laughs> Axis says, Nicholas Cage, he's banging at the door. Oh. Whoa, a hot new skill. Damn, this looks badass. Man, how do people do that and not hurt their voices? Ugh. Not the bees. <laughs> not the bees. Not the bees. Ah, oh, you see Lord of Flies as well, huh? Or wait, was it Lord of Flies or Wicker Man? What's the name of the movie? I forgot the name of the movie, but I know what the movie is. For you kids out there, it's a very old Nick movie. Nick Cage movie. You know, one of the million he's done. Uh, get rid of this. He, I don't need him to heal. But God, this is such a funny scene. That's why I love playing Cards Against Humanity. Not the bees! Alright, I'm broke. I'm done. I think I've wasted and goofed off enough time. Risotto said, who would win? Nick Cage or Steven Seagal? Oh, Oh, the Wicker Man? Wait, was it? Oh, you know what? I'm thinking about the other movies. I'm so bad. It is the Wicker Man. I should remember. Because it's on YouTube movies. That's how bad it is. You know a movie's up there if it's on Nick uh, Nickelodeon. It's on YouTube movies for free with ads. Uh, my vote's for Nick Cage, uh, Risotto. Uh, he's been in way too many roles. And unlike Steven Seagal, Nick Cage at least had the gall to make a movie that, like, made fun of it and laughed about it. If Steven Seagal did that, he'd be like, I don't think it's very funny. Besides, is Steven Seagal still, like, a thing? He loves himself too much, right? Uh, I'm not gonna, like, crap on him because, you know, he had a moment, but... Alright, come on, dude. You're done. Bye, and you know what, Yakshni? Uh, goodbye. I'm just gonna have a fiend team. Oh, yeah. Can you smell... Wow, I was about to do a totally different thing. I was about to do a, uh, a macho man doing The Rock. Can you smell what The Rock is cooking? Axis says he is. He's like a cockroach. We're trying to get rid of him. I don't know why I was about to do a, a macho man do, <laughs> doing a rock thing. I'm going to save because I don't want to. Oh, actually, is this the furthest one? Or is there another one? There is a furthest one. Alright, I think we're caught up now. Yes, this is where we were last time. Yes, 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 yes. Which means we need to farm money. We'll worry about that later. Ooh, yeah. And I don't have my, my iced tea lemonade, because I'm going to tell you what. Say, ooh, yeah. You can, you can feel it. Like, if I was just like, ooh, yeah. That, you can even feel that in my pipes don't take that out of context like my vocal port my vocal cords if i haven't got canceled by this point you're welcome uh how do i go from here i go here that's right, right? don't worry about access it was a moment it was a phase we're done anything over here oh they all fear me huh where's the um any things over here Nope. No Mimon, no nothing. Oh, well, whatever. Hut! God, I hate this world's overworld music. It's so bad. It is not... Ugh. It's not cash money, man. It's just not cash money. Wait. There's a... Item over here? So this is a... Oh, I'm stuck. So this is a... It might be above me. It's probably above me. Huh. Oh, God. Actually, you know what? I kind of regret getting you back, Ame. 
Ugh. Yeah, there's an item over there. I, I guess I missed. Excuse me, Yakshnees. Get out of way. No. Is it... Oh, yeah, it's this thing. I thought I grabbed this. Oh, it's Yakshnees' essence. Right. That's why that's there. Gotcha, gotcha. I guess that makes a lot more sense, huh? Coward. Oh, I'm just kidding. And then there's one up there. I remember now. Yeah, because this was what it was like last episode. Huh. Up again. And yeah, we ended it here because I had to deal with that jerk Kumhanda who came out of nowhere. Who was like, hey! Which, by the way, in case people are forgotten, I beat him. Senseless, by the way. And he told me to give this to Succubus. A large bottle that drains life from humans. Nah. Let's just take a look around these parts here. Gotta loot this place. What the heck was that? Oh, God. I heard something that sounded terrible in my headphones. Oh, my goodness gracious. I lowered my volume down, too. Oof. Oh, whatever. Um, well, we can't go that way. Makes that easy. Full moon. Uh, Kagasuchi. Oh, Poltergeists? Poltergeists. Poltergeists. Oh my god. Uh, oh, oh! Hello, you! I saw you from the distance. Hey, what's up? Rooftops, nice and all, but no allowed up there at school. What? Why I say that? I don't know. Why do you have lips like that? Don't ask questions you don't want the answers to. Fair enough. I need one more meme on, and I can get the next uh, threshold of stuff. I think this is the right way, right? Yeah. Oh, well, not going that way. There's an item over there. Oh, that's the poltergeist up here. I keep hearing this weird clicking. It's so grating on my headphones. Oh. Hey! Wait. Succubus. Hold on, let me say it real quick. Before I get involved in something, I'm probably going to regret. Because you can never be too certain. Hey, what's happening, hottie? Even though I know your lore, and your lore is actually more disturbing, don't be fooled, viewers. She may look like a nice 10 out of 10, but uh, that's only in your dreams. In reality... Ugh. Hey there, tall, dark, and handsome. Man, if I had a nickel for any time anybody said that to me. I'd have one nickel, which is weird that it happened one time, but I'll still take what I can get. You got a moment to talk? You didn't meet a demon named Kuhanda on your way here, did you? Ooh. Uh... Risotto said she blind? How is the guy dark? Uh, well, I'm clad in black-ish clothes. Yeah, it's close enough. She might be colorblind, I don't know. Kupanda and I, we used to be close. Oh. We both were, well, dark horses in our separate way. But the guy's been through a lot. Now he's back to being how he used to be. A senseless, vi uh, vibrant, violent ogre. Even got himself a place at the side of a guardian deity. He was, like, one of the best in that circle. Totally respected. So I kind of need your help with Kumhanda. Performing his rites, I guess? I want you to put him out of his misery. Oh! Ooh. Well. <laughs> oh, man. This is going to be a little awkward. Hey, so... Do you subscribe to the Vitamin DGR channel, which I hope my viewers are? Uh, on Twitch and YouTube? So, uh, here's the thing. I didn't want it to happen. He just happened to fall on my sword and die. Uh, Star said press the R button. Oh, for a full view thing? Here you go. I pressed the R button. The R button's there. You got five more seconds, viewers. Five, four, three... Two, one, there you go. It's gotten to a point where I don't think he even remembers who he is anymore. We all have those days. It's a selfish request, if that wasn't clear. Don't like seeing Kuhanda like this. The guy I knew wasn't some mindless monster. So what's you 2s history going on here? 
Thanks. Cool of you to help, even though it's kind of a personal thing. Huh? You beat Kumpando already? Yeah, s sorry, yes. You, you you know the scene in, um I think it's Thor Ragnarok, where he like tries to call his umbrella Mjolnir, and you hear the sound effects of everything crashing? He's just like, so sorry. Uh, you said, what was it you said about your pipes? I don't remember. I come and go whenever I say these things, man. Just watch the episode and remind me, because I legitimately forgot. I'm not even making a joke. I totally forgot. Then, that bottle in your hand would be... I have a bottle in my hand? That's just my hand. Okay, thanks. I see. He wanted me to have this, huh? This is a mysterious bottle that can drain sexual energy from humans. Oh. 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 Kumpanda was always one of the best. You should have seen the way he used this bottle. He was a real master. Oh my god. I gotta get my... Star says I gotta get some juice and water, BRB. I gotta get my mind out of the gutter. Oh my god. That is the sentence. This is the... This is the picture. This is the sentence. Even more embarrassing is that I read that without thinking. Oh my god, my folks watch the show. You know what? Whatever. We're going. We're doing this. We're doing this live. Yeah, Kamado's one of the best. Uh, he he's good at bottle. Uh, he's a real master. All right. Then for Kumanda's sake, I'll do my best. I'm seeing chat at the core of my eye going crazy. Yeah, I'm sorry. Sorry, younger audiences. Sorry. Rosetta said, "Hey, V is getting a tattoo expensive." Um, I think it depends on like where you get of uh where you get. Where you get a tattoo. Um, I'm trying to think of like where you can. Like, if you're going for something small, it's probably gonna be like, I don't know, 50, 60, I think. Uh, is it varied? Yeah, I think it varies depending on where you go. Um, like, because I was going for my arm and I remember, like, I don't remember how much it was, but it was definitely like more than like 80, I think. So, I don't know, maybe 100 or something. I think it really depends on like the size of the tattoo and where you're doing it. Um, so unfortunately I don't know at the top of my head, I'm sorry. Uh, let's see, answer is yes, unless you know someone, $80, answer is yes. Yeah, I think 80 is good, but it depends on, like, how big, because you said you're going for the koi. How big is the koi fish you're going for, right? And viewers, maybe you guys might know in the comment section, because I apologize, I don't know at the top of my head. Because, again, I didn't get my tattoo, because, you know, I'm all thin and all that. Uh, but, yeah, I, I would say, like, 80 to maybe 100. Axis says 80 is a small tattoo. Then, yeah, maybe like 100, I think. 100, 120. I think it really depends on... Because I know you say you're going on your back. I think it depends on the size of the koi you're going for and where you go. Because I think some place will be like, you know what? You're cool. And they might give you a discount or something. I don't know. Axis says a koi fish of decent size is going to cost you 300. Oh, okay. I was way off. Never mind. I don't know what the heck I'm talking about. And actually, no, I stand my words. I think it really does depend on, like, the size and everything. Don't take that sentence out of context. I don't know how to make this bottle work for me, but I've got an idea. I'll figure it out. Seriously, Gabe, are you throwing this? Clearly the game's being, you know, let's just move on. And you too. I know you had to get your hands dirty, but really, I'm grateful. I won't forget this. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. Aww. You're welcome for giving you a bottle that drains the sexual energy of men. You're welcome. Access, you might be more, more expressive. Yeah, Jesus. Yeah, you know all the stuff, huh? Glad I have chat that knows this stuff. Never really kind of figured out if uh, those two were a thing. Also, there's a thing up here. Oh, well. A bottle that drains the sexual energy of humans. Hmm. Clearly they're going for something with that, but Atlas, I know where you're going. Uh, we're not gonna move. I'll be RV, starving as hell? Yeah, me too. I'm starving as heck too. I need to eat. No, no, get your food. Grab some snacks. We in here for a good minute. I'm feeling like an extra long episode this time. And then save me some. No, I'm just kidding. I'm starving too. Stars is getting pizza. Hopefully it's with pineapples. That was getting 
You can do piles if you want. Ooh, there's a thing over there. I think they're running start. <laughs> okay. Is that a Tom over there? Whoa! Yeah, that's what I like to see. <laughs> Got him! Viewers, what do you guys eat or snack on while you watch my videos? Hopefully something delicious. I've been trying to satiate my hunger by eating candy and cookies and stuff, and clearly it's not doing it. Then again, I've always had a sweet tooth. Uh, I'm about to do something stupid, so let's not do that. This'll do. This'll do. Uh, I need... Oh, God. Yes, gotta do it. It would appear you need darkness. It's the only thing you're going to do in order to beat this Armatala, young Vartman. Thank you, Bane. Appreciate it. Appreciate you being here. When are you going home? You've been here for weeks, so... Well, quite frankly, my house is being fumigated. And also, I'm having the electricity bill being taken care of, because I... I already was born in darkness, but that doesn't mean I need to live in it. Fair. But, uh... Hopefully that's sooner than later. Man, that thing had 10,000. Sweet. Let's see. What am I, what's my stock on? Oh, this updated? Sophia handed you an item called a menorah. She warned you that it attracts the avatars of death, but didn't explain further. Because, like all of your, every other pretty girl in my life, teases a lot of them. Oh, just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Here you go. Actually, Axis, I can say this for all viewers. That's actually the, 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 that's a good point. Axis said this, and I'm going to say this to everybody that's considering a, a tattoo. Please consult your local tattoo artist before you purchase, because someone may be willing to work with you. But if you want it done right, you have to be prepared to pay quite a hefty chunk of change. I feel like that's a very good thing to say in general, not just for uh, risotto. Uh -huh. Very wise of you too, because I don't, I didn't know that. I mean, obviously I didn't. Anything over here? No. What if I get tired by running around the place? Actually, I think you could say that for like any video game. The characters get tired of you run for a minute. You know, for games that don't have like stamina meters, like a Souls game or such. Which viewers, I I heard the two of you. Uh, I don't really have it. Oh, hello, Mimon. I don't really have any immediate desire to do a Souls game on my channel. At least not yet. People call City Concrete Jungle, but when only framework left, City more like Jungle Gym. It's, it's food for thought, the Souls thing. But it's definitely not going to be any immediate thought. Especially anytime soon. Anything over here? Secrets of goodies? It was just a Mimon? I guess it was just a Mimon. Wait, what the... Oh, it's just the red thing. Yeah. Accident V co op Older Ring? No, I'm not going back in that nightmare. I lived enough experience. I'm good. But if you do uh, want to see Elder Ring, hit up JP Crew. He'll be more than willing to do that. Way faster than I would be. I kind of like love my life. Granted, I'm still a masochist for playing games like SMT, but I don't know. I just like turn based stuff more. I don't know. Oh, I never dealt with these guys, huh? What's up? The demon is approaching, what will you do? I will... Keep calm? You do not fear me. Your courage does you credit. Let us speak. That long blue hair of yours, it certainly catches the eye. Don't wig out about... <laughs> If I say this, what are the odds he'd like it and not, like, be like, your joke is stupid? I never cared for wordplay, nor its self-satisfied adherence. Take this and be gone with you. Oh, okay. I guess it was still good. You gave me 200 bucks. I'll take it. That's more than what I do. I tell people jokes and they're just like, go away, V. Freaking Nahobino tells dumb jokes, he gets $200. I would kill to be able to say a really dumb joke or a dad joke and be able to get 200 bucks. 
Why do you stand there so blankly? Is there not something else you should be doing right now? Um... I would say offer a handshake, but I don't, uh... Put it there! An extended hand. Are you being funny? You know I don't have anything lower than... It's time to die. Uh, extended hand, what does it mean, this? An offer of friendship. I'm surrendering. A challenge? I'll surrender! If your intent is to recruit demons, why would you surrender outright? I don't know. I don't know what you want from me. I'm just gambling here. Just in case. I don't want you to attack me. And you still attack me. See, whenever I cast Stanley Simons... <sighs> you start talking to the demon. It seems there's no state to converse. Yeah, I kinda, kinda messed that one up, huh? I do want this, because it's a new demon, so I might as well just wait for you to get back to your senses, I guess. Plus, I get some free energy from this. Hurry up and snap back to normal. There you go. Ow. I got bit by a skeleton. Well, a skull, more specifically. Demon's trying to leave, what will you do? Stop them, watch them go, pray for their safety? Sure. I have heard your prayers. Perhaps we might go together. That way, would thereby guarantee each other's safety. I read that in a weird way. Now then. Offer me money. <sighs> Fine. Offer me a lifestone. Sure, I got a million of those things. Offer me two light shards. All right, you're done. Very well. I'm dealing with all the skulls today. I got Daisojo, I got Hellbiker, I just got Loa. Is this game trying to set me up for something? I bet it is. Okay, so it wants me to go up there, but I'm curious about the rest of these platforms. Oh. Hey, what's up? I'm just gonna run past you here, excuse me. Because where are you guys hiding? Oh. I got Mimon. Hey, what's up? Why did you find me? Uh, Netherworld was born about 20 years ago. Demons make themselves at home. Even pop up villages. Yeah, yeah. I think we already got the reference of that for those who want a little Easter egg. I think he's preferring to a certain other Nocturne game that came out around 20 or so years ago. Hint, hint. A certain extremely hard game that Risotto and I and numerous others have brought up. Alright. This better be good. Oh, actually it is good. You can't jump that high though. I can use this. Alrighty's essence, huh? What's she got going on? Uh, let's see. Weak to force, no darkness. Uh, ugh. Well, it's something new. I did say I want to get every, uh, essence. I probably won't happen during these episodes, but I guarantee you at one point I'll, like, play a lot more and just be like, Hey, so I did a lot, and I got all these. Or I'll just reload my playthroughs and showcase that I definitely put in some work here. But I saw a human wearing a hat just down that passageway there. He had an incredible fire in his eyes, like he just made up his mind about something. Oh, we finally chose whether the soup or the salad, huh? Oh, it's it's Dazai. I can see his blonde hair from here. Oh, What's up, Freckles? Sorry for running away back at school. You know, I can't even begin to tell you how scared I was. No way I was gonna try putting up a fight. So far away, ran so night and day, just to get away. For me. I thought I was gonna die, but then I got saved by Atsuta's sister. Put herself right between me and them. Oh. I think her name's Rot, right? She didn't even try putting up a fight. Then just like that, she was gone. Oh. She said her brother would have done the same thing. <clears throat> I 
can't face Atsuta after all his sister did. Not without trying to find her first. I mean, you could. You say you tried. Apparently I've said this. Just take my word for it. Even though I literally just stood there and didn't move my mouth at all. He's like, yeah, you said everything about the fairy village. You're serious? Oh man, what a relief. But I'm sure people are still out there. That's your demon? Hmm. I've decided I'm going to use what I've learned to save everyone who was taken. So let me handle this. I'll keep up the search on this end. I'm gonna keep looking around over here. I'll let you handle the fairy village. Okay. Multiple life readings from the southwest. I speculate it is the village we're searching for. All right, on it. Well, good on you, Dazai. I mean, you know, you got one of the sweetest characters of this entire game uh, captured, but, you know, you did stuff. Ow. I haven't fought a Satanta yet. Hmm. Uh, oh wait, it's a full moon. Would this work? I don't think it would. You're still slowly must get close. Yep. Freaking full moons. Darn it. Should have known. I didn't think. Which is my first problem. Wow. Good crit. Way to go, Hellbiker. That you'd like to see by B. Um, normally, Satanta's win because he becomes a uh, lore wise Kahulan. So I'm going to gamble and save the Rita Electricity. Yep. You are Rita Electricity. Nice! Problem is, I don't know if you're weak to anything else. So I'm just going to lower your stuff just in case because I know you're probably going to hurt. Never mind. I can use this. Alright, now don't hurt me. Even though these stats don't suck. Wow, it actually worked this time. That never happens. Time to die! Oh, I forgot I had a monocle. Welcome back, Star. And I actually forgot I had you. Alright, before I go further, let's do some uh let's do some skill arrangements here. Uh how does this go? It goes light, then darkness, no bane, sit back in the corner. Uh then it goes this then this. That's you. This goes this. It's gonna be the weirdest thing, but it's kind of like the. I think of it the same way I think of like if I get bills, I like or uh, organize it the right way. It's weird, I know, but I'm a weird guy. All right, that's organized, and now you, because I think I will be using you at some point. This, this, and that's good enough. All right, we're done. Let's move on before more lowas come at me. Where did I go? Where did I go? Oh, oh, that's not going there. Whoa! Hey, fellas! Hmm, I'll deal with y'all later, I guess. What do we got going around these parts? Water be hitting different at night. It's fair. Ooh! Well, water be hitting different in general is good for you. I ought to drink more of it, but my unhealthy ass. <laughs> oh, hey! I remember you. Back in Deep Strange Journey, specifically. Oh. I am the goddess of the harvest, Demeter. Uh. Right now, and I know I said the name wrong. Follow, uh, bear with me. 
Right now, Tokyo is a barren wasteland, but one day I shall turn to a verdant land of harvest and abundance. When that time comes, I would like to know that I may call upon you. Sure. I like Demeter. Demeter is actually a really cool demon in Mega Ten. So listen, I'm over there. I want this. Okay, so I probably won't be uh, doing with her anytime soon. Thought I saw an item. Oh, whatever. Elagor's essence. All right, what's Elagor's essence? Uh, null fire, weak electricity, resist darkness. Lame. Well, I mean, it's not that lame, but like, come on, all these things that are weak electricity. There's nothing over here. But I intended to fight those uh, Elagors. Uh oh, they're coming for me. Shame you're too slow. It says there's somebody to talk to at the school. Or school. Whatever this is, this cram school. It really does look like Monogatari. Oh! What's up, Blondie? I've decided I'm going to use what I've learned to save everyone who was taken. You already said that. Me Oh, you're blocking my way, huh? Don't go this way! Why not? Because the game isn't done yet! Hmm. Oh, I saw a Mimon over there. Visit Fairy Village already. Go between buildings and uphill south of here. Follow path. Right, I got a lot of glory. I need to cash that in. Uh, next save spot. I'll remember that. There's a glory thing up there. Ugh. Alright, I'll come back for it later. <laughs> Stop. Beyond this mountain is a place filled with trees. Fairies live in hiding there. Fairies? Fairy godparents? Alright, good enough for me. Galway. Loa's. I'm busy. Galway, Kelpies. I'm busy. Galway Basilis. Actually, I don't think I have a Basilis. I hear Matama. Ooh. Oh. Oh. What a waste. That's so fair. Sup? Out of my way, coming through. <laughs> it, it's it's worth it. You try to trip the demon, but the demon attacks. It was worth it. Ow! It was totally worth it. I'm gonna die for it, but ow! <gasps> okay, maybe it's not that worth it. Ooh! Oh God, I gotta heal myself before I go for another chat. That might have been a dumb idea. Ugh. Oh, okay, cool. Hold your turn. Why is that like that? Okay, now we can go waste our time talking again. Ow. Alright, let's try this again. What's up? Welcome back, Rosetta. Demon's just for you to come closer. What will you do? Make a fist. Why do they throw these weird chop? <laughs> yeah. Are you striking a pose? Did something good happen? I caught a fly. I want to make you mine. The world is mine. What are these choices, dude? Uh, I'm getting closer to the very village, Risotto. But I'm dealing with this basilisk that I don't know what to say to get you doing. I caught a fly. That's not nice. I should probably stay away from this guy. Oh, are you serious? That was so dumb. Like, how do you know what choices do- Okay, whatever, dude. That's Basilisk, I find. I'm crewing it. That was so dumb. I... <laughs> Risotto says it's much worse than 4. Oh, I hear you. That and Apocalypse. It is not- It's not kosher. But I will admit, 
Atlas has a very weird, cheeky sense of humor with these things that I just can't help but love. Axis says, never pick the answer that makes sense. I don't know, man. Even sometimes the answers, like, don't uh, make sense. Oh, hold on. Whoa. Ugh. Don't want to miss. I want to get them all. I'm a surfing bird. I want everybody's heard about the bird. About a bird, bird, bird. Bird is the word. I have no clue where I am. Uh, this is a different, uh, different departure from the rest of this uh, area so far. Don't let the game win. The game's already won. The game won the minute I bought this game because they're like, all right, another victim. I already fell. Ooh, we'll take the stamina since though. There's a meme on to the left. Yeah, I know. But I know how to get it back. It was worth the jump though, Star. But in case there's any viewers, actually, you know what? Oh, please be me, Tama. Yes, yes, no. Come on, man, there's no point. What's the point of even doing that? It's such a tease. Well, that was embarrassing. Yeah, it was. Uh, viewers, you're probably wondering what Star and I were just talking about. Yeah, there's a... I know where a Mimon is. Uh, so just bear with me real quick. But I had to jump. Despite my fear of heights, I was like, it's kind of worth it. That's such... That's such a dickish thing to do. Goten Yama, what are the Jonan goes on? Mountain south of Takawana Dot. I should have said that better. Takana Wadai. Takana Wadai. You gotta say, but I gotta say it better. I gotta embrace my inner Japanese. It would be better if I did, but I don't have a proper Japanese accent. Not yet. Maybe when I learn Japanese, I do want to do it. Somebody hit up the anime man. I want to learn from Joy Bazinger uh, how to speak Japanese so I can do the uh, Monogatari uh, Hanakawa tongue twister. Jeez. I mean, what you... Oh. Yeah. What's this? Seal gem? Lame. Poison gem? Also lame. What's this? Okay, that's better. Uh, Sara says, Axis likes Domin SMT games. If he likes Subman SMT games. The heck are you talking about? Axis says, I want to learn Japanese slowly to curse people out in the voice of Kaido. <laughs> I want to learn Japanese so I can see my anime in uh, Raw. Fairies are easy prey, or so they used to be. Lately, they've been seeking protection from the Fairy King, and they can't get close. Damn that Cosmo! Oh, hello. Yo, well met. Fairy Village, just pass here. Feel free to rest up, yeah? Star. Don't. Because it's just going to confuse YouTube. Anything? No? This is a problem or something. Fairy Village! We've arrived. How the hell did he get here before me? How the heck did you get here before me? What kind of sense does that make? How the heck did you get here before me, uh, Asta? What do you mean? Tao? What about me? Man, girls. Someone named Theon saved me and brought me here. But a lot of people here are hurt. They're in no condition to move right now. The Fairy King can tell you more. He's the one who saved us. How did you get here, Yuzuru? Seriously, how did you get here before me? I'm faster than the winds. Oh, yeah. uh, well, I guess you were just too slow. I was able to rescue a few students on my way here. I've already contacted Bethel. Now we just have to wait for their response. Mm. In any case, 
Why did I say Clace? In any case, I'm just glad Meowth was safe. Spoke like a good big brother. Um, no. Oh, yeah, she doesn't know I'm, uh, all blue and beautiful, huh? It's still you, right? Sort of. I heard from my brother. Even though you changed yourself to fight demons, I said yourself in the wrong credence there, you still complete yourself. The Berry King is rather ahead. It looked like there was some trouble. It might be a good idea to ask about that first. I don't give a crap about you. I care about this demon. Hyatoro. I am truly glad that the kid... <laughs> I said glad. I am truly glad the kidnapped students were rescued safely. All that remains is for them to be safely returned to Tokyo. I don't recognize you, but I'm sure you won't cause any trouble. Right? No promises, honey. No promises. We're only sheltering humans here at the reheat quest of the Fairy King, ho. No way we can protect them on our own, ho. Well, that's because you're wee heek. Alright, time to go exploring. Axis says, even though you're yourself, you're still yourself. V23. <laughs> this better not be the birth of, like, a quotes thing. Actually, you know what? Maybe I should do that for my Discord. Uh, viewers, if you ever want to... Well, I already said it enough times. I made a Discord for a number or plethora of reasons. I'm just coming up with other reasons why I make more things for my Discord. It was meant for a number of reasons, like to reach out, talk amongst like my individuals. If you're bored, showcase your art, things like that. Uh, I'm actually thinking I might make a quotes channel. Ooh. Might come in handy in the future. Uh, wow. Still sucks. No, actually, Nakamana's essence isn't that bad, but I don't want to be weak to so many elements. Access, please do. I'll, I'll, I'll work on it. I'll think about it. Depends. I don't know if I'll be saying many quotes and stuff, That's even if I'm the only one to drop quotes. That yeah, depends. Vitalian says, sweet. I'm stuck. Depends. Can you give it to me? And my paperweight. Naga's essence. Uh, let's see. Where's Naga? <sighs> see, and I like the resist or no electricity, but there's too many weaknesses. I just gotta wait. Eventually, I'll get to a point where I'll get some really good uh, essences. And I'm like, <gasps> yes. But until then, I'm probably gonna be like bunk for a while. Anything up here? I think I got everything up here. Wait, was there something down there? Oh, that's just the red of that. Wow, there's a lot of, uh, talk bubbles. I re fused to fight against my fellow demons, huh? Of course, I don't want to fight with the humans, too. Uh, either, huh? We prefer to go about things peacefully. You there. You've come quite a long ways, haven't you? Please do not say I'm Puss in Boots. I know we have a lot of similarities. Uh... Just a few. Tell me, were there any Copa Tengu from where you came from, Nya? You see, I have a friend among them. They're at a point in their lives where the stress starts truly weighing on them. Oftentimes, they climb up somewhere high to think in peace. Did you just create a sub-quest for me? All the way at the beginning? It doesn't have to be right now, but could I ask you to lend them an ear sometime, friend? <sighs> yeah, I guess. I'll worry about it later, though. There's a lot of people to talk about here. Welcome to our village. You must forgive me, however, as I won't be able to give you a proper welcome. Uh, people are hurt. Got it, cool. Oh, hey, there are students. One of the upperclassmen... No, you don't have a face. I don't care. You don't have a face either. I don't talk to people that don't have eyes, noses, and mouths. Nah, no, I'm, I'm just kidding. Uh, twist my ankle trying to front the demons. That sucks. I saw a red Matama over here. One of the in humans injured he's... Wow. Caused him to get a fever. So I used my powers and made a ton of ice packs, ho. And guess what? The fairy king was real healy oppressed, ho. There's so many people here. It's all, it's all. I have some medicine here. That'll help you get some sleep if you need it. I've been helping the injured humans rest in peace. 
rest in peace. Perhaps that's not the best way to phrase that. Yeah, I was about to make that same joke. Where's Matama? Oh, sorry. I was looking at the map. I lost the blue one and the yellow one. I'm at least getting this freaking red one. Hopefully. Unless you're weak to light. Uh, darkness. Then this would suck a bit. Lightning? Say less. I just realized something. Hold on, hold on. Hellbiker's on a bike of fire, right? Is it safe for a Hellbiker to be riding a bike with flaming wheels in a grassy place like this? You know what? Let's just not think too much into it. Ruinous! Keep forgetting I got this mermaid. How many more people are there to talk to? Quite a few. What happened? Is everyone okay? They're all gone. I was rescued by a swordsman calling himself Fionn as soon as I came here. And thankfully, only I suffered a few scrapes. Sheesh. What kind of grudge do they have against our school to only kidnap its students? Well, the youth rule the world. The wind is gentle here, thanks to all the trees. Ah, oh, sure it's nice. Aren't you? You better not be Pixies. Uh, uh, Pixies. You better not be the Demi Fiend's Pixie. I swear if you are, please don't make a dole on me. I've ceased my evil deeds since... Why am I giving you this voice? Since losing to the Fairy King. I'm now here to protect the fairies instead. Don't let Crocker here. Yeah. Megara River cherry blossoms very well known. Oh, they're so pretty. Even in Netherworld, I'm sure trees will still be beautiful as ever. I need to cash in my glory. I forgot to do that. I gotta do that before I go further here. Our hobby? I wait. Wait, hold on. I can do this better. <clears throat> I wait for one who is worthy to appear. That's not you. Imagine like he has like a very deep thundering voice, and then all of a sudden he comes out this really soft voice. It's like, oh, I had you pegged for something else. Hey, you must be the king. Oh, over on Titania? Makes sense. Are you one of the friends of the human sheltered here? Oh, um... Yeah, what she said. That's nice. This is Oberon, the fairy king, and I am his queen, Titania. We were, a uh, we were asked to provide refuge here for injured humans. However, we have run into an unexpected problem. Um... We didn't have enough medicine to treat everyone. Star, I don't know where you're going with that question. I'm scared to say it either. We don't have enough medicine to treat everyone. Uh, that's life. In indeed, or indeed, perhaps they are fated to die here. Hey, wait! <sighs> Freaking towel. No, I'm just kidding. Please, Your Majesty, is there anything we do to help? Nope. They're done. All right. Who wants some good shawarma? I could go for some shawarma. You can gather ingredients for more medicine. Find the goddess Adun. Wait, find the goddess Adun. Her golden apples provide the healing properties we need. Collect three of them and then return here. Uh, Star says, also getting sleepy, VRB. If not, hopefully you're joining as well. We can see Adun. Well, I am planning on going a little bit further. I definitely want to see Adun. I am sending someone with you to act as a mediator between you and her. Who? <sighs> Too many hoes and he's. Leave the deal making to Miho. That's right. But no, seriously though, Star, go get some rest. Hee-ho. Idun often visits the forest downstream. Please make haste. So now I have you as instead of Ame Nozaka? Joy. I'm I'm riveted. So what are you that's different? Nothing really. Alright. Fear expected, uh cool. Why are you all the way over here? Uh, Atlas King, positive people, uh, demons suck. Got it. He ho, are you cold? Here I can warm you up, ho. Sorry if you get a little singed, though, ho. I'm good, ho. 
Thanks very he, he much, but I'm go all good. Uh, it says thank you. Axis says V is an average kid who no one understands. Oh, you're making me into Timmy Turner fairly up here because I'm in the fairy village. You're very funny. Uh, let's see. Thank you. Thank you, you both. I might join back. Won't be active in the group chat, but unless I'm a message. What do you mean? No, no, no. Honestly, get plenty of rest, Star. It's all goody. And let me also say this because uh, it should be around that time. Happy Easter, people. Even though by the time this video comes out, it won't be Easter. But you know what I mean, people. Happy Easter, everybody. Don't you think Keen Oberon and Queen Titania are just perfect together? I hope I can find someone like that someday. Uh. Okay. Uh. Helping out humans brings back so many memories. Various humans used to live in harmony a long, long time ago. But everything changed when the human nation attacked. Yeah. Those humans. You are not a fairy. It looks like the abducted humans are being given shelter now. At first, it wasn't clear what would happen to them. It's a relief to see them safe. Hmm. I guess this is not a human. I mean, uh, a fairy. Also, there's an item over there. Just gotta time my jump. Just right! Oh, lame. Yeah. Get some good rest, Star. Fall asleep to my quiet, beautiful tones. No, I'm just kidding. Go get some good rest. Huh? It's not Trey. Hee ho. Ah, oh, freaking hee ho. Oh. Oh. Oh, of course it's the red one that you let me get the uh, the drop on, not the not the blue or the yellow. I need darkness. No, I'm not calling Bane back into the room. Nice try. I'm sorry, he. I guess it was a demon's trap, ho. Ugh, the way you said it was sad. Well, before I go any further, because I'm gonna freaking forget, I might as well cash in this glory. Oh, hey. There's not enough medicine. They need our help. Our help? I think you mean my help. Mythology does tell of a fruit that could well surpass the effects of modern science. Don't say our. I'm the one doing it. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm totally kidding. Yeah, 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 welcome. Uh, can I get rid of some of these demons? I don't think I want Matador anymore. So I'm good. Uh, hmm. Granted, you don't really have any skills I can give you. So I guess I'll just give you this and waste my time. Skipping. Don't care. Pleased to make your acquaintance. That is not the voice I thought you'd have. But you'll be good for fodder. You don't need a counter. Alright, who else? Can I do anything with Loa? Uh, not strong enough, not strong enough, not strong enough. Hell no, hell no, hell no. Okay, that's not happening. What about Black Ooze? Not strong enough, not strong enough, not strong enough, not strong enough. Huh. Um. You know what? Yeah. Why not? Let's make some random demons. I probably should save them for, like, next episode stuff for fusions, but, eh, it's probably fine. Let's give you this, let's give you this, let's give you this, let's give you this. What is this? Recover the little MP battle? Nah, we're good. Fusion, done. Good to meet you. That is definitely not the voice I expected from you. <laughs> what the heck? That is definitely not the voice I wanted. I mean voice I wanted, the voice I expected. Um me and Pisgot talk pose, me and Pose. Nah, I guess you don't really do the whole healing thing. You're just gonna use for fodder anyway, so I'm not gonna rearrange your skills. Uh God no. I think we're good right now. Then need to level up more. What's the next special demon? Uh one level I can make Sakuna Hakuna. And no. It's actually pronounced Sakuna Hakona. And no, it's not Naoto's Sakuna Hakona. I do prefer that one more, but it's not Sakuna Hona. Also, I forgot I need money to make King Frost. Okay, I'll keep that in mind for later. I'll return later. It's all good. 
Let's see here. So we made our way to the fairy village. We killed a couple. Mm. I got a gorilla for sale. I should cooperate with Buffalo and Incorporate. Yeah, 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 you're gonna be helpful. Alright, let's think here, right? So, what have we accomplished this episode so far? Uh, we fought a fiend. We got a new fiend. Axis says, I love the fact you know that song. Dude, I got a lot of trivial knowledge in my head. It's not just anime. In this weird cranium of mine. Uh, but people don't know. It was a boomerang song about Magilla Gorilla. Got a Magilla for sale. Magilla Gorilla for sale. Boom, boom. Really jazzy. Anywho, uh, let's see. What have we done this episode so far? We went further. I got my butt kicked by Castle Kotal, so I can't do that DLC. Uh, beat Hellbiker. I got Hellbiker. Axis says, remember Secret Formula by Well I Am? Yeah, I brought it up during Nocturne. I talked about it a lot. Um, and now we made our way to Fairy Village. So I'm debating about how I should go about this. I guess we can go a little bit longer here. Not too much longer, because YouTube. I don't want my... Well, I don't know. I'm still trying to get a gauge, YouTube. Do you guys, like, actually watch my videos full? You just, like, fast forward? You just watch for, like, a minute and you're like, alright, done with this guy. My thing is, I don't want my videos being super long for YouTube. Unless, of course, you have me in the background, then I'm not. Do your heart's content. There's an item here I'm missing. But I do have to think about both here. Where's the item? Oh. Gotcha, gotcha. I just so much fun. Aw, thank you. You know, there are more people like you in the world. That was a bad idea. I need to get higher. I need to get much higher, baby. Okay, so I need to get even higher. Oh, oh, oh. I see how. Bam. Yeah, now I'm higher. It's better than worth it. Black oozes essence. Ew. Don't know how I feel about that. No, I, I already know I'm going to hate it. Where is... I'm just gonna run. Hee ho. You. Hashtag no access clothes. I don't know how many access clothes would be handy. There are enemies. Oh. Above me. God, I'll keep it in mind. There are some enemies here. Nekomata? Yeah, no, no, no. Go away, Nakamata. I'll talk to this one instead. Let's see here. Let's jump in. Eh. Let's go for it. Actually, real quick. I'm thinking Persona. You guys were weak to electricity, right? Eh? Okay, that still applies. Thank you, Persona. Oh, you're weak to ice too. That I didn't know. Ugh. Use Hellspin! Chop you and I should do it. Alright, I'm gonna talk to the other one. Ow! Don't nyah me. That freaking hurt. Hold on. I need to heal. God, they did so much damage. Star says chill in the bank. Go get the Nifo girl. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I am trying my darndest. But I make no promises, though, because who knows. Alright, what's up? Come on. You can let me go, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather go myself. I'm out. I'll see you later. What? Am I not cute enough for you? You hurt my feelings, so you better make it up to me. Give me a reason to stay. Oh! Uh... You see, fellas, the easiest way to a girl's heart is to go up to the girl 
say, hey. Say the girl's like, oh, do you think I'm cute? Or no, say the girl's like, I gotta go somewhere. Then, as soon as they say that, all you gotta do is be like, you know what? I also gotta leave. I'm out. Peace. That will get the girl to be like, huh. Well, that son of a... No, no, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. I don't know why that worked. <laughs> Star's like surprised. Star says, B got Riz 2023. I, I wish. I have no clue why that worked. I'm pretty sure if I let real life did that, the girl would be like, all right, well, whatever. That guy sucks. I don't know why that worked, how that worked, whom made that work, but it worked. Uh, it says it's over here. I'm just going to run straight for it. Hello, waifu. There she is, how? That's the goddess, Idun, how? Yeah, I can see that. Because, you know, the story thing says she's right here. And let me tell you something, viewers. Uh, this girl right here, say whatever you will. She is... Star says don't embarrass yourself. <laughs> I stream and do YouTube. I, I, I'm doing that for nearly 200 videos. I've already embarrassed myself. But let me tell you something, viewers. If you have any inclination to play this game... Get this girl. However you can. Just figure a way to do it. I don't care how. Do it. You will thank me. And you will learn later throughout these videos. Hi, how are you doing? I'm here at the Rehe Quest of King Oberon, ho. Oh, what a cute little fairy. I hope the king and queen are doing well. So, what did you need? The king said he'd like three golden apples. Needs it for medicine, ho. Oh, medicine. It's true my apples can be used to heal all kinds of ailments, but... Please? Oh, I, I, I thought that was... I thought that was a jack o -lantern. You have to help my friends. That's not the voice I want to give Tao. Please share your apples with us, Hal. Queen Titania wishes for it too, Hal. Well, Titania was originally a harvest goddess. Being a fellow goddess, I know how she feels with wanting to help the humans and everything. <sighs> Problem is... Loki just recently stole nearly all of my apples. Oh, that prick. And the only ones I have left haven't fully ripened yet. Unripened apples can't be used for medicine, sadly. As uh, one could say in a lot of layman's terms, sucks to suck. Yee haw What a tragedy ho But it could have been easy for Loki to carry so many by himself. There's a good chance he might have dropped a few on his way out. So he might, so maybe try looking around. Thank you very much. Yeah, that. Loki took off that way, and could just faintly smell the apples he left behind. Edun as in Eden? No, well, uh... I mean... I could definitely see some parallels there. And she does have a whole apple motif. So that's... You're not absolutely far off the mark. I know you'll be able to get those apples back. Good luck out there. <laughs> Thank you. Hee-ho! Hurry ho! We have to get the apples for it. Yeah, 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 okay. We gotta go apple hunting. All right, gotta go find some apples. All right, sure. I guess I'll go hunting for some apples down. Hmm. Three of them, eh? Surrounded by a bunch of Nekomata and a random as hell Valkyrie. What? Ugh. Valkyrie, what the hell are you doing over here? First, I'm gonna do this. Valkyrie, what the heck are you doing? What's up? You belong to Bethel's Japanese branch, correct? I am from the Nordic branch myself, and I am no enemy of yours. Lady Idun comes to frolic here quite often, so it's my job to keep a watchful eye without getting in her way. I don't suppose you know where any of the apples are, are you? I do not care for apples. Hmm. Well, alright then. Starts to show some map. Yeah, the little yellow things here. The problem is, there's three of them that I gotta scour, which means it's time for a new area to explore. On the next episode, that's right folks, on the next episode I will be exploring this newer area. I'm gonna head back to the same thing because I did do a lot. On the next area here, I will be scavenging around, uh, going for some apples. I guess we gotta do this first before we worry about Makima and Lamu and all of them. Ugh, of course you gotta end it on a fight. Oh, I hear Matama. Please let me fight. Please let me fight. Please let me win. 
Oh, thank God. I'll end it in one hopefully good note where I get finally some money. But yeah, I'm going to beat this guy real quick. With lightning, huh? Ooh, my favorite element. Oh, you shouldn't have. No, 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 no. I'm playing the animation because I love it. But yes, folks, thank you all for tuning in for this episode. Uh, if you stuck with me... Uh, well, YouTube, I really hope you have uh, stuck with me because I really try to like cater to you guys as well. And I really hope you guys like enjoy my content and everything. And I'd appreciate some comments uh, just to know that that's the case because my self-esteem issues, I guess. Uh, I don't know. That's the kind of thing. Uh, but on another note, I can't thank you enough for tuning in. Uh, Progress-wise, we definitely did a good amount. Like, We explored, I'm pretty sure, almost the entirety of the whole ruined city. We ended up... Golden opportunity. <laughs> oh, I get 12000 bucks for this. Sweet. Uh, we explored, I'm pretty sure, most of the city. Um, we may have lost a Castle Kotal, so unfortunately, Artemis' whole thing's got to wait until maybe another episode or two. But I will make that happen on stream for sure. On a different note, though, we did handle the next feed with Hellbiker. We got a little strong, well, a good bit stronger, and now we discovered the fairy village. So we found Miyazu. So that's a step in the right direction. Same for the fact that the students are super hurt, so now I gotta help you do and find our golden apples. But like I said, that's a plan for next episode. The other thing I'm gonna do as well is that Puss in Boots demon. I know its name's Kate Seth, but I'm making a joke here. Uh, said something about um. Said something about oh the Copa Tengu. They they're going through stuff. They need help. So that's also gonna be something on the next episode. Hopefully by then I'll get a lot stronger. Uh, yeah, well, that's pretty much it. I don't know why I'm talking like a, a president delivering a speech. So, my fellow connoisseurs, um, hope you all uh, enjoyed yourselves, and uh, I can't wait to see you all in the next episode. Uh, on behalf of Risotto, which, by the way, welcome again, my friend. Hopefully I'll get to see you and many of my other exploits as well as this. Uh, on behalf of Axis, on behalf of Star, on behalf of Winter, on behalf of all of you viewers, I cannot thank you enough for helping little old me uh, feel welcomed in this uh, hobby of mine. And I uh, hope to uh, entertain. Yeah, that's what I want to say. I hope to entertain you more uh, with more content. Uh, I will end on one last final note, uh, even though I believe I've said it at the beginning of this video. Uh, if I haven't, then uh, say la vie. So, uh, I am double-checking here uh, on my calendar because I do have my... Uh, I'm going to stop doing the odd thing. I do have on my calendar my uh, my 200 video special, and I am working to make that happen. Um, I have done the polls. Everything has uh, popped up. Um, happy Easter, everybody. Yes, it is Easter. Thank you. Happy Easter to you, too, my friend. Um, so let me also say this, because as it is uh, the Easter season, I will say this with absolute certainty. If anything... Uh, cause this is the 14th, I'm actually gonna do something different this time. Cause normally Fridays, if you guys like watch my stuff, uh, Twitch, uh, cause Twitch, you're gonna get this video first soon. YouTube, you're gonna get this 3pm for sure, so YouTube, do not worry. I love you guys, I appreciate your patience, uh, you will get this video on time, this is not an issue. But Twitch, real talk, I've done, I've seen the poll. The poll's still going right now because still some time. By Thursday, I really hope you guys throw some votes. Get your friends, family, get your dog or cat, get your tattoo artist to help you out uh, to hop my poll. But I do have plans. Um, so I can say with certainty it's between a PS2 game and a modern console PS5 game. Um, and I am trying to get a gauge on which I can do. Uh, I will say that... One of them was going to be a surprise, but unfortunately, I have tried it earlier today, and it didn't, or earlier today, and a little bit of yesterday before I streamed. Um, so one of the things I was going to do was a PS2 game called Zatch Bell Mamoto Battles. I can say to my sadness that unfortunately my disc is not in good condition. I did order a new one, but unfortunately the cheapest one will not arrive until the week after, and I already scheduled this 200 special, so that's not going to work. However, I bought a different game. Um, completely, completely different. I have no clue what I'm getting into. I don't assume this will get many views, but, and it's even worse because this isn't a game that like really uh, like capulates me because you would think, oh, because of my rants, it'd be an anime game or I'd, uh, I'd help on Persona. However, 
you guys get uh i will shout out to a couple people out there my rl friends because i already said i was gonna do a persona stream i give it to you it doesn't really make much sense doing my favorite persona game right now if i'm gonna do it later Maybe I might do it for a birthday stream, but right now, probably not going to happen. So, with that being the case, right now the poll is saying to do a PS2 game, so I will be doing a PS2 game. So what I'm actually going to do is two different things. I am going to do not only a PS2 game that Friday for my Easter stream, uh, Easter stream for my 200 video stream, I'm also going to bring back, because I also got a few people asked for this, I'm going to do another Tokobots uh, one visit. So... Expect some very old games happening at the end of this upcoming week, if you're interested. And no, Tokobot will not be the PS2 uh, 200 video stream. Uh, of course, though, if the poll changes and I end up doing a modern console game, then I'll, I'll let you know. But right now, it's looking like I'm going to do a PS2 stream, a 200 video special of... I don't want to say it yet. I'll let you guys get curious. You guys are going to look at this and be like, why the heck is he playing this? This game isn't good. Why is he doing this? Well, if you don't know by now, I like to be niche and random. So, and I do try to go for a theme of being obscure. Games that you've never really heard of. Like, heck, have any of you guys heard of Undead Darlings? Boom. That's my case. But that's enough of me ranting. Like I said, this Friday, uh, I might try to do it earlier. So, I know normally it's 10.30, but I might end up doing it like 9.30, like a normal time thing. I'll see what I can do. Obviously, turn on your notifications, that way you know. And then YouTube. It won't happen for you this Friday, the 14th, because obviously this is, by the time this video comes on YouTube, you will later. But you will be getting it uh, later on the date. So it may not happen in April, but I will try my darndest to get it to you soon. But by all means, please turn on your notifications, hit the all, hit that bell. You will get it notified. Or if you don't want to hit the all, just tune into my channel every now and then. Uh, for the people that, you know, watch my videos and not just watch like five seconds, hear my random intros, they're like, all right, we're done. Don't be like the, the Beethoven song where you hear the dun-dun-dun-dun, dun-dun-dun-dun, and then just be like, ignore the rest of the song. Give me a shot. You never know. Might have some fun. Nonetheless, I think I've ranted enough, so I will see you guys on the next episode where we will conquer the fairy village. Wow, that made me sound exactly like a uh, crocker, huh? Hmm. And no, I'm not doing the spazzy fairy godparents thing. You're not getting that on me. Sorry, my voice is too epic for that, so nice try. Nonetheless, I've ranted enough, and I will see you guys in the next episode. So, have a great Easter, everyone, and I'll see you next time.